The Department of Homeland Security Secretary General John Kelly announced earlier today new guidelines to implement President Trump's agenda on immigration. Now, they include prioritizing the removal of criminal aliens who have been convicted of any criminal offense, who have been charged with any criminal offense that has not yet been resolved, and who have committed potentially chargeable criminal acts. DHS is also calling for hiring an additional 10,000 ICE agents, 5,000 additional Border Patrol agents, expanding the 287G program, which allows local police to act as immigration agents, starting the planning and construction, of course, of the border wall, ending catch and release, and restoring the Secure Communities program, which was shut down by the Obama administration. Also, returning aliens to their country of or origin, creating the Victims of Immigration Crime Engagement Office, or VOICE, which is meant to help families that are impacted by illegal immigrant crimes. Also, identifying aid to Mexico and commissioning a study on border security to better determine what works and what does not work. Now, it's important to note that DREAMers are not impacted by these new orders. But you can guarantee that the liberals and their friends and the alt-left propaganda media, they're going to spin and distort what these guidelines are all about. But if you take a complete and honest and unbiased look at what President Trump is trying to do, then you'll see it's all pretty simple. He's securing our borders, trying to stop crimes against Americans, preventing drugs from entering this country, arms from entering this country. He wants to stop drug trafficking. You see there, I've personally been down to the border over a dozen times on boat, all-terrain vehicle. I've been in helicopters. I've been on horseback. I have seen these drug warehouses. Look there, floor to ceiling, the biggest warehouse you've ever seen. I've seen drug tunnels and illegal immigrants being detained. I saw a gang member being arrested. And just a couple of weeks ago, one of our Hannity producers caught on video Border Patrol agents. See that? 400 pounds of drugs headed right into your community. Now, I'm speaking tonight from firsthand experience because, as far as I know, nobody else in the media has taken the time to go down to the border as much as I have and look up close and personally to what's really happening and how bad it is. Now, back in 2014, during one of my trips, I sat through a briefing. It was eye-opening. This was with former Texas Governor Rick Perry, where we were just told how bad illegal immigrant crimes were for the state of Texas alone. 642,000 crimes. Watch this. Criminal aliens have been responsible for about 642,000 offenses, criminal offenses. 642,000 crimes in seven years. Have an orchestra that, that we have brave men and women that are literally using military tactics to fight what they consider to be cartels, that is a huge story. 642,000 crimes against Texans alone in a seven-year period. Now, there are other statistics that are just as shocking. According to a 2015 report from the Immigration Policy Institute, get this, an estimated 820,000 of the projected 11 million illegal immigrants living in America are convicted criminals. And look at the numbers in fiscal year 2015. 36.6% of the over 70,000 federal sentences were for crimes committed by illegal aliens. Now, these aren't just numbers that we're talking about here. These are people, your citizens, fellow citizens, Americans, directly impacted by illegal immigrant crimes. Now, there's no, also to add to this, the massive costs. You, the American taxpayer, are paying a fortune. According to a study from the Federal American Immigration Reform, illegal immigration get this, cost states and local governments $113 billion a year for things like education, for medicine, medical treatment, public assistance, judicial costs, criminal justice costs, huge amounts of money. Then there's the cost to individual border states. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. For example, if you live in California, illegal immigration is estimated to cost an astounding $25.3 billion a year. If you live in the state of Texas, you're on the hook, if you're a taxpayer, for $12.1 billion annually. That is taxpayer money. That's supposed to go to your towns and communities, your hospitals, your educational facilities. But no, it's going to pay for illegal immigrants. The good news is this. President Trump, he's laid out a comprehensive plan to fix the problem, to make our communities safer, and to save you, the American taxpayer, obviously a fortune.